Hello, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Joysticking with George, with your host, George Jimenez from DualShockers.com. And today, we are checking out Resident Evil Revelations 2, Episode 1. Yes, that was a mouthful. This is the uh, newest Resident Evil game. Uh, we're playing it right now on the Xbox One. Uh, so Capcom's doing something a little bit different this time. They're releasing this game in episodes over a uh, span of four weeks. So uh, by the time I got to this video, around episode two is already out. So uh, what we'll do is uh, I've already halfway completed the campaign. So I got to play as uh, Claire Redfield and Moira Burton, uh, Barry Burton's daughter. And uh, right now we're just going to pick it up where I left off. And we're going to uh, play as Barry and, you know, have a... Very, very good time. Okay, so my issue with Resident Evil is I've always been a little bit apprehensive since uh, 6, just because, uh, you know, 5 was not, was good, but like, you know, let me down a bit. And then by the time 6 came around, it just kind of broke my heart. It was just 30 hours of sadness and Neo Umbrella, and it was just, that was, that was Resident Evil jumping the shark. So uh, Claire and Moira work for an organization called TerraSave, whose job is to go around and, you know, take out weird uh, bio-weapon monsters that uh, just go all over the world. So pretty much like Umbrella's Mess have been, in, you know, terrorists have it now, and just rogue states have been turning people into zombies and monsters, and their job, their job is to clean up the mess. So their headquarters was attacked, and they kidnapped Claire and Moira, and that little girl is really creepy. So Moira and Claire actually got the bracelets that they're, that's on that little girl's hand. And it monitors their fear, but really if it you know turns red, they will turn into monsters. And uh, we came to this, uh, this is actually a penal colony. So all the test subjects and stuff were all prisoners that all, like, looks, it looks like something bad happened and they all turned into monsters. And there's also a lady called the Overseer who's in charge of things. Lady. I mean it. I've yeah. got some grown-up stuff to attend to, but I'll come back for you later, okay? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of just Resident Evil weirdness happening here, which I always appreciate. You can't just leave me. No, 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 no. No. It's too dangerous for you to come along. I'm not going to be any safer here. No. A little girl on this planet that will listen to me. All right, stay close. So apparently him and Moira don't get along because uh, Moira only refers to him as Barry and not Dad, so there's probably some other issues going on here, and Moira refuses to use a gun. Okay. Oh, we... Oh, wow. The homeboy came to party. Well, that's some good gear. Okay, so uh, uh, like in the first half, we can actually uh, switch characters. I uh, can't do it right now. I guess it has to be unlocked. But uh, let's Radiant. take a look at this facility here. That's got to be it. What are you doing all along? Where are your parents? I don't have any parents. And I don't know why I'm here. I just am. She got you just like she got my baby. <laughs> Settle down. All right, where are we going? Yeah. All right. So we're moving up here. You're not scared of me? No. You're all right. So I'm actually a big Barry fan. What the hell? Are... Oh, yeah. It's these giant bugs. So I was actually a big Barry fan. Uh, just because, you know, he's the one that delivered the cheesiest, dumbest lines in the... In the first Resident Evil with, you know, the Jill Sandwich and you, the master of unlocking. And blah, blah, blah. You could see why he became a, uh, you see why he became a fan favorite. Wow, what a pretty name. My name's Barry. <laughs> You're so good with kids, Barry. That's right, don't wear it out. <laughs> I won't. 
All right, that's enough of that. Looks like this is the only way through. Yeah, sure, just let the little girl go first. It's all good. All right, so uh, real quick, let's take a look at the kind of the inventory system here. Ooh, all right, let's combine some things. So, uh, so here's my inventory. I can go ahead and actually combine this in classic Resident Evil fashion, and now I have three herbs that can humate my spray. Uh, I really like the interface. Everything's a little bit more intuitive, like, you know, weapons you can switch on the fly without going into your inventory. Uh, the health pack is right there as right bumper, so if I hold down the right bumper when I'm injured, Dunzo's, I can heal. And my knife is my right stick here. <clears throat> the monsters. monsters, okay. Monsters? Also, Barry, you've done this before. Like, shouldn't act so surprised. All right, let's kill the light. Hmm... Oh, oh, not good. All right, Barry, you got this. How about we use a gun, Barry? Yeah, it's badass. Must be the infected the brief mentioned. No, you could have mentioned that to me, Barry. Yeah, buddy. All right. Some good work, Barry. Also, they've added a... Uh, got my quick turn here. Got my dodge. My, they can go there, which is kind of neat. Uh, yeah, so, you know, once you, once you kind of get those uh, controls down, it's just say, you know, it's Resident Evil. And I, was, uh, I remember speaking to someone earlier, and this game is only $6 every episode. Can just sort of see them. Oh boy. Tell really essentially. Oh, that's actually kind of useful. Oh no, you don't, young lady. It's too dangerous. Why? I'm not scared. <laughs> okay. So she has the same abilities as uh, Moira, where she can. Uh, she use Moira uses a flashlight, but she can point out like those hidden glints, and can come pick that up. And she's also going to have her own inventory, so I should probably pass that to Barry. Okay, how else do I have here? Sub weapon. All right, looks like she can't use a weapon either. Uh, you know what? Can I switch back to Barry or no? All right, so I'm still her. You just let me handle this one. There's something ahead. Be careful. Ah, sweet, a stealth attack. Oh, look out! You've been buried. Them. Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry for that weird edit. Uh, I'm, I'm, there was a snowstorm happening in New Jersey, and I momentarily lost power, but now we are back and running. Uh, apologize for that, but uh, thankfully we were able to pick up right where we left off, and uh, I'm, I'm, apparently this creepy girl can spot monsters with her crazy monster vision, and, uh, and Barry's going to give uh, this guy the business, so... Uh, Let's get back to it. So I point that out. I have to say, out of all the Resident Evil male protagonists, Barry's by far maybe my favorite. I mean, I like you know, I like Leon, but you know, Leon had his moments of being kind of like a meathead. Uh, was not a big Chris Redfield fan. He he just was really dopey and not not and I think it was Resident Evil. Uh, six that cemented that feeling where I was just like I wanted nothing ever to do with Chris Redfield. Let's see, is that monster on a patrol? Yeah, how about that? Uh, I guess that monster can't see. Alright, I'll take it. Oh, the both of you! Oh, you've been buried. It's a large coin. Don't you shoot that? All right. 
Right on. Oh, piss someone off. Nope. 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 Barry, don't play that. Alright. Let's move on. Eh, you know I'm good in health. I don't need that. So yeah, play with Barry's a little bit more different, just because he's a little bit more well-equipped. It looks like he can take more of a beating than, uh, than Claire and Moira, which is good. Since uh, Claire and Moira can kind of gang up on people with their melee attacks. Which, you know, I'm not really complaining. I, I kind of like having that difference between the characters. What's that? Cloth? Oh, okay. Alright, what can this little girl... Point. Yay, point. Okay, so he sees us. All right. I also love that the Samurai Edge, which was the uh, the bonus gun you got from beating uh, Resident Evil 1 when you did a new game plus... Oh. Dodge. It's easy. Man, Barry does not mess around. Just saying. All right, so this one's super dead. Where is he? Hmm. Okay, I guess we'll just continue this way. I just kind of like that Barry has no problem putting this little girl in danger. Just like another the day in the life of a Terra Save agent. Actually, I don't know who Barry's affiliations are. In this game. Damn, that guy's dead. Can you see anything? Close, but it hasn't seen us. What are we talking about? Okay, let's climb up here. Oh. Is this not a boost moment? Hmm. Ah. Oh, yeah. Barry, you are quite the man. Can you make it? Yeah. Good. Reminds me a lot of Resident Evil 4, just having the, uh, the escort to babysit. It makes me wonder if uh, I get to store her in a dumpster while I fight monsters. All right, you know, I can sprint. Oh, look at that, okay. I guess you're crawling. Barry, be an adult. Don't have the little girl just crawl away. She has a brick. Okay. Oh. All right, come on. You can do this. The monster is coming. Brick him. Yeah. Gunpowder. Okay. So there is a uh, weapon customization system here. So when we get to a workbench, she'll be able to see that. Come on, do your thing. Push. Can you pull at least? Not gonna give me that. All right, fine. Useless. Okay, all clear. Come on, Barry. I've got a brick. You're braver than me. I do love that Barry has one of those anime voices. It's like I can't quite place where I've seen where I've heard this voice before, but I'm pretty sure I've heard it in like Psychopaths or Ghost in the Shell or just any anime ever. Oh, there's a workbench. So I'm retreading a lot of the same ground that uh, Jill and Moira went through. So that would explain why like, some of those zombies are down. Ooh, what should I upgrade? Very high powerful magnum. Very Oh, I don't have anything to customize it with, so... Really? Nothing? Alright. So yeah, it looks like I'm gonna go to the boiler room that had the spike traps. Oof. 
feu. Done. Travel asked, does he not know the sentence? Uh, the officer replied, it would be useless to give him that information. He experiences it in his own body. There's a lot of Kafka references in this particular game. You know, Resident Evil always has their weird uh, classic literature uh, referential material in every game. It's, all right, come on, let's move this. Cute toy, but I better find some way to stop it. No, but with Claire, I spent all this time getting it back on. Is there a... Nope. Are you useful at all? Uh, you know what? I'm not going to put a little girl through that. Uh, we just have to turn it off. <coughs> hmm. What are we doing, Barry? What are we doing? Oh, okay. You know what? I think I remember. So I just have to go for that. Hmm. There's a control point somewhere here that I can use. Ah, more bricks, yes. Uh, there we go. Really? God damn it. All right. Uh. Let's go back up here. And I think we'll go to the, you know, let's go to the, the very first objective here, and then we'll move on to uh, a mode I'm actually really excited to check out, the uh, raid mode, which is, uh, if you were a Mercenaries fan, it's essentially that, except with some, like, really interesting RPG elements, which I'm kind of looking forward to. So let's uh, hurry through here and see what we can find. More bricks. Does she have a brick inventory that I should be aware of? No, okay, so she should just always have a brick. Okay, gotcha. Is this a control room? Yes, that's where I'm trying to go. Very observant as usual. I remember my first playthrough in uh, the first Resident Evil. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh. I don't want any part of that. Quah. Quah. Shut up. Yeah. Love this gun. Very, very good. We got same letter, red with clear. Yeah, so it looks like we got something here that we can use. Is that guy alive? You know what? Brick, uh, let's go brick him. No, she can't brick anyone? Okay, that guy's super dead. It's down here. There. Oh! Oh! Damn, Barry. You were just all testosterone. You just punched that zombie in the face. Well, that's normal. <laughs> oh, whoa! Okay, that that was unexpected. Okay, so we'll try that again. Home girl, you're gonna pick up a brick? So I kind of enjoy this very forgiving uh, death system here. Ah, crap. Oh. Oh, nothing's going well for me. All right, that guy's dead. But you get back here. Ugh. All right, let's heal. That, and, uh, that heals everyone. Damn. Just got trounced. Is there anything here that I needed? Oh, can I 
should use her. Like that brick handy. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just a creepy little girl pointing. Be careful. Ah, oh, to reload. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no escaping from the combat knife. Ah, it's probably something important here. Nope, don't. Not a big Kafka fan. Let's just move on. All right, so let's try to get that through that death trap room again and see where we end up. Yeah! Now that's teamwork. Don't feel bad for these guys. They were probably rapists. Okay, so switch with her. Oh, she can see footprints. That's very disturbing. Okay, so the BP system here actually lets you uh, upgrade your character. So, you know, different abilities like uh, uh, shots do more damage while crouched and, you know, that sort of thing, which, is, which I actually kind of like. You did great. Yeah, this is a lot safer now. We got this, Barry. Don't want any part of this. Oh, this was the crush room. See what we got here. Action! Man, I just had uh, some really bad Resident Evil Umbrella Chronicles flashbacks that that made me kind of sad. I always felt like for every Resident Evil Four, we ended up with two dozen Chronicles type shooter survival games, which is just not fun. Remember you played that guy who had amnesia, who was an Umbrella employee, and just, oh, it was all bad. All right, which way are we going? Whoa! Thanks for that up. It was your fault. Your... How else are you going to learn? God damn it. Well, that was bad. All right. Uh, well, we came down this way, right? Okay. Or did we? Okay, so we're going up this way. Yeah, it would not be a Resident Evil game without tons of backtracking. Where are we going? Where are we going? Hmm. Should use our map and figure out where the hell we are. Uh, do I need a, a night key or a socket thing to put in something? I wish I knew. Oh, wait, actually. Really? How am I going to get in there, I wonder? How did Jill do it? What would Jill do? Ah, oh, another one of these things. Why the hell not? Alright. You know what? Let's just keep pressing forward, and if I can't find a solution in the next minute or so, we're just gonna move on to raid mode and see what that's like. But uh but yeah, this was always kind of my problem with Resident Evil games. If you're kind of not paying attention or forget how to read a map, you end up doing a lot of this. Whoa! Take a seat. I'm Barry. All right. Hmm. Can I... 
Barry, light over, over, Barry, over here. Thank you. Nothing. All right, I guess we're going to go this way. It's, uh, oh, okay. Look at us problem solve, Barry. Look at us. All right. I think we made it to the other side. Hmm. So, all right, so we came through this way. Check out this hallway. What do you see, homegirl? Okay, a couple of dead squiddy things. Okay, we're running out of handgun ammo, which I'm not pre appreciating here. Hmm. Back. All right. Awesome. All right. So that means I can go upgrade something soon. Whoa. All right. So this is where Claire left. I have to get through that. Hmm. We could probably get out this way if the path was clear. Thanks, Barry. I see your rank is Captain Obvious. Uh. All right. So let's see if we can get the hell out of here. And So uh, Claire had to set that up because uh, at some point uh, a bunch of monsters were coming after them and we had to use uh, that fire to keep them at bay. Hmm. What are we going to do? I feel like maybe I'm going to have to have her crawl into something. And I should not throw her through the fire. That would be unethical. Okay, here we go. We're back. Now, all these cells were opened up before. Oh. Ow. Okay. Die. All right. You. Don't like you. Take a nap. What are we doing? So let's check out that second floor. If nothing to worry about. She has a brick. Anything here? Yaha! Ha 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 ha! Well done. That is a weird looking treasure chest. <laughs> Need a small. Yeah, little girl, just you know, stick your hand inside there. That'll be fine. So this is this really weird uh, lock picking mechanic. Oh, I got it. You kind of have to feel around for the right spot. And, huh. Look at that. Nice job. Nice job all around. Do we got anything here to hit? Uh, it's probably was not a good idea. Oh. I'm going to say we should probably run. The running necessary. Short controlled bursts. Like the walking. Okay, may have to hit him. There we go. There we go. Good. Dead is dead. What's going on here? No, you know what? Let's take a look at it. If it actually took care of that fire. Or did it just piss everyone off? Okay, that flame is still there. Uh, don't worry, little girl. I'm going to put you in a more dangerous situation, so it's all going to be good. All right, you know, let's go back through the cells again, because that, that had to do something, I assume. Uh, I kind of wish there was just some... Random objective marker. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess. Bring it. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, come on, Barry. Get your life together. Crouch for accuracy. Or not. 
Yeah, look at that. Barry, bring down the house. Anything I should keep an eye out for? Hey, little girl. Give me your creepy psychic powers. I thought I'd open something. What do we got? Okay, I'll take that. Yeah, just ignore the hanging bodies. No, nothing. Oh, there's a ruby to shoot there. Exchange it for some BP. Yeah. Hmm. Ha ha. Come on, little girl. I need you to crawl through a hole for me. Jump, jump. Jump again. It's a wrap, yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we're doing here. I mean, she's got good upper body strength for a nine-year-old. Da-ha. So now we're just going to rotate this damn thing. Assuming she can? Look at her. All right. I did it. Nice job, she girl. Did, let's rotate it out of the way here. Cover our escape if we need it. And all right, I think this is where uh, Claire and Moira were left off. So we're going to call it right here, which seems like a good spot. And uh, let's head into uh, the raid mode. Freeze! Stop being creepy. All right, anyway. So let's uh, head out and see the raid mode. It's actually a split-screen co-op here, so yeah, someone could play as uh, Natalie or Natalia if you want, but I'm sure that person will be mad at you for letting them do that. So let's jump into raid mode here. And uh, yeah, this looks fun, because you can uh, actually pick a character, you can customize them a bit, and uh, their, their numbers above their heads, which is kind of neat, and it's got this very kind of weird RPG mechanic to it. Ah. I'm a computer? Right on. So, what is happening? Alright, equip weapons with the mannequin. Let's customize. Oh, I got two people here. Definitely being Barry. Gestures come. Let's do a. Uh, it's hot. Oh yeah. Let's do uh, guns in the air. Oh yeah. And uh, let's go with the lunatic thumbs up, maybe. Ooh, hip hop dance. Stay there. <laughs> no, I don't want that. Do the giddy schoolgirl. Oh, yeah, let's do that. And we'll do. Uh, that laughing, because why the hell not? Alright, so let's see what I got here. Skills, inflict fire damage. Okay, so it looks like I got a lot of nothing here, because I'm low level. I wonder if there's anything I can buy with BP. So, oh, so it looks like I can equip. Handgun, uh, okay, okay. Weapons, let's see what we got here. Got my, all right, so that's taken care of. So I only have two guns. And actual skills, that's what's that, okay, that's that. You receive a killing blow, all right. Let's deploy to the red door.
So I just got level one. All right, let's go to work. So, so far, for, for $6, this, uh, this doesn't seem too bad. Okay. So, what do I have to do? All right, so I have to kill 38 bad guys. Oh, what guns do I have? All right, let's stick with the handgun for now. All right, so that's a level one bad guy. Ah, health bars. That's, that's weird. All right. I can dig it. Geeks. Oh, sweet. All right. Yeah. So I'll assume headshots will get more. Yes, they do. I just love that the action I'm doing is really not matching this music, but cool so far. All right, enemies are just going to spawn. Screw it, we're just going to go nuts here. Let's still got the submachine gun in case I needed it. Ah! Oh! See you in hell. Is that guy behind me? Mmm. Ah, oh, I need an area key. Okay. So I guess maybe once I kill all these dudes... So Let's see what I got. Okay, so left bumper actually can throw that. Okay, that's not going to do anything. Alright. All right, Barry, let's get your mind right. Let's go. More dudes to kill. You know what? Stick with the handgun. Oh! Love me some hot Barry action. All right, what are we doing here? All right, so it looks like I got an area key. Awesome. Do they not know it's a sniper rifle, or can I equip it? Okay, so it looks like I actually have to identify that. Well, that's kind of neat. Okay. And break. Ah! Watch out for Barry. What else we got? All right. Let's see what's here. Okay, so I got maybe a shotgun. Let's see you in hell. Let's see what's going on here. Nothing, nothing. All right. Hoo ah! Sweet. You know what? I'm actually really digging this mode. Uh, is there anything else down there? I'm wondering if you can do this cooperatively, how, how fun that would be. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Looks like a boss room, maybe. Huh. Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 oh. Don't mind me. I'm Barry, and I'm just here to blow your mind. Right. Oh, awesome. All right, what do we got here? Oh crap. 
All right, looks a little like the bullets are not going through them, so I gotta kind of finesse these shots a bit. Die. Dude, what is the? What are you? Yeah, let's take care of these hosses first. Okay, let's try headshots, Barry, because. Hmm. Is that a boss? Oh, out of ammo. All right, that's not good. Ah, crunch! See you in hell, you monsters. Is there more ammo back here? Nope, used it all up. There you go, Barry. Forget that these were once people. Fucking murder the hell out of them. So. Okay, so area key unlocked. Let's clear this place out before moving on. Oh, look out! Bear, use your gun! No, oh, Bear, you damned fool. Alright, let's move on. Alright, so it looks like I got them all. Shoot the coin? Oh, no. That would have been fun. Oh, yeah, Barry. Right on. Look at all that metals. Yeah. Oh, cool. They just not going to identify these for me. Okay, I'm a, I'm a raider of evil. All right. Right on. So yeah, you know what? For six dollars, I think you really can't go wrong with this. All right, what do we do with the unvalued stuff? Mm. Yeah, evaluate the hell out of that item. Awesome. So let's evaluate. Yeah, all right. So now that I have cash, let's see what else we got here. It's uh, leaderboards. It's a, a voice log. Okay. Store. Ah, gotcha. So this is where I buy all this crap. Full charge all consumables, force ammo. Oh, neat. I wonder if there are any character customization things I can do here. As far as appearance is concerned. But, uh, alright, well, you know, let's, let's stick with Barry for a bit. Barry's yet to let me down. We'll do, let's, uh, do some weapon upgrading here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Nope, got none of that. All right. So let's add that. Uh, I think the shotgun's probably a good approach. Skills, I got some skill points. That seems to be neat. Let's, uh... Ah, so I've unlocked some things here. Herb storage, max health. Can we do that? Yeah, let's, let's use that one. All right, let's just go ahead and start another mission here. Let's do the daily. Now let's go with uh, daily. 
Select the characters only. Yeah, all right. Uh, but yeah, you know what? Let's uh, let's kill a few more guys, and I think we're gonna call it here. Because uh, you know, kind of want to finish this episode and get the episode two already. So let's. Uh... Oh man, guys, I need a party. Oh crap! Oh, don't worry, Barrett. That weird, greasy guy is just trying to kill you. Bring it. This oh, dick. Oh, berry punch. Oh, is this supposed to be Raccoon City? Huh. Ah, he's got a weapon. Put down the weapon, sir. Put down the weapon. Let's check out this firebomb. All right. All right, so we're going to call it here. This was uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Episode 1 on the uh, Xbox One. Uh, out out now. Episode 2 is even out right now. And uh, every, every week for the next two weeks until, I guess, they finish, I think there were going to be four or five episodes. So, you know, keep an eye out for this game. And Honestly, for $6 per episode, I don't think you can go wrong. That I think that is the right length for this type of Resident Evil. There, right, I need to make some space here. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll end on this shotgun blast with a uh, weird sledgehammer guy. Ooh, it's an auto shotgun. Oh, this is... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't mind me, bro. Ah! Oh. Yeah, I don't like any of these sounds. Uh, but yeah, we'll call it, like I said, Resident Evil Revelations 2 out now. Playing it on the Xbox One, but it's also available on the PS4 and PC. Barrel! Thanks for watching. More barrels! Ah!